गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड जय हिंद टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी और इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव मेंशन और द डिस्कस अबाउट द रेनिशा एंड व्हिच बिगेन एंड इन द राइट फ्रॉम द 14th टू द 17th सेंचुरी और कंटिन्यूड and uh, now no doubt the renisha brought about a major changes in the way of the women lives understand or in every walk of the life and every aspects of the life of the women being understand was changed by the renisha or had renisha had its uh, and had been have been its a deep impact on the human beings understand or the on the every uh, aspects of the human beings life understand or students today we are going to study the topics or that of which is the also associated and very closely associated with the renaissance understand or with the or uh, the topic of today is for the study is the spread of humanism understand now here students the by the 15th century this term humanism was a now or the term humanist was used for for the those masters and teachers understand who now used to teach the common man the subjects like grammar rhetoric poetry and the history and the moral philosophy so those people and those teachers were known as a humanist understand the subject of the teaching the person who used to teach it, this subject we are known as the uh, humanist and uh, this humanism term have been the uh, used uh, in that sense understand now the later on the term humanities has been the derived from the latin words latin words at the humanitas it is it had been the derived from the latin word humanitas understand or it had been used uh, many century ago by the roman lawyers and the assist uh, assist cicero the great uh, uh, scholars and the very celebrated scholars of ancient time understand the cicero now he had used the this term of the uh, humanitas term he has a contemporary of the and now he was cicero was also the very contemporary of the person to whom you know very well and the well as a great conqueror and the ruler julius caesar he was the contemporary of the julius caesar see cicero was the contemporary of the julius caesar and uh, now and uh, it is the humanist as means the culture understand and the culture now includes the, the very wide and very broader it's had the very broader sense and uh, under it say uh, everything comes understand and particularly the skills understand skills come so, so it is a uh, worth mentioning that the subject emphasizing on the skills that were developed by the individuals the culture is what culture is the skills understand which had been or have been developed by the individuals the skills which uh, an individual uh, develops develops understand and uh, through the discussion and the debates so if uh, the through the discussion and the debates if uh, an individual develops the uh, skills within him understand that is the known as a culture this is the a skill culture is what culture is the skill culture is the art and the culture is the a specific knowledge 
and the way of and the manner and the way of the life is called the culture as students now today the meaning of the humanism have the take interest in human life humanism means and the, this humanism now had in the during the renaissance period it's had the meaning ki that the taking the interest in the human life now humanism means ki now the to lay the emphasis on the human lives understand all the human being and now the entire center of the activities okay now shifted from the spirituality spirituality spiritually jump to the humanism it means that all the dogmas and the and orthodox thinking recollectionist recollectionistness understand all were now uh, all were now left out and then the belief in the potentiality of the human beings human beings potential so this is the okay the humanism cast the or lay the lays the emphasis on the human beings potentiality or their importance and the human life and the efforts reforms promote the in renaissance period humanism was known as the ideology that laid the more emphasis on the worldly interest it means that it now the interest which the people used to take in the beyond this world understand those interest which had been uh, had been uh, the beyond the world those shifted into this world the interest into this world whatever we are the looking what is the our uh, whatever uh, the things before us understand and we are the looking that is the fact and that is the reality and uh, these things all around us and the progress development creation this is the uh, creation and the this world is the creation of human being understand and human being so his now a continuous labor continuous work had designed this world this world had that so now here the humanism uh, uh, the term emphasized emphasizes on the human beings understand or interest in this world not in the interest in the heaven and the hell no everything the, what is the before us this is the truth and this is the fact what we are the looking and the seeing not beyond anything exist beyond this world nothing exist no heaven no hell understand so now here the humanist writers now interest in the joy and the sorrow sorrow of the living people they began to take the interest in the happiness of this world the sorrow of this world there is no any heaven there is no any so hell no any jannat or no any jahannam understand what is the happiness is in this world and the and living and they had emphasized on the study of the ancient roman and now they begin to discover the okay the writers started discovering the knowledge knowledge of the ancient and the greek knowledge or the knowledge of ancient and the greek literatures and uh, make people the culture understand that these uh, writers uh, begin to write now the knowledge text and the literature taking the instances from the roman culture ancient roman culture or ancient greek cultures and now presented and try to make the people's life very interestingly or the they laid a, the emphasis on the this and they denounce the superstitious sons i have already talked that you know the days of the superstitious sons or as well as and the lifestyles of the spiritualism okay spiritual leaders or emphasis gone away that were the left out the people left the orthodox feeling orthodox thinking 
and uh, and uh, orthodox orthodox beliefs reckless beliefs now they begin to now argue they begin to and every anything say which uh, which were what to be the acceptable by the people that was the that was the uh, that was the facts whatever the facts which had been the uh, uh, well argued well well argued or based on the reason or the rationality and the reasons and this which began to be the accepted by the people understand or students moreover the world more and more comfortable these writers created and wanted to make this world more and more comfortable and enjoyable as compared to that of the that of the other world okay they wanted these writers women by wanted to they try to send the message try to inculcate the happiness in the heart and minds of the people understand or those and in comparison to the other world there is no other world whatever the things are the here understand so this is the now they believed in the mankind's ability now i have already said that that these renisha writers emphasized on the ability on the potentiality of the man and achieve the happiness through the potentiality and the hard work of the man happiness perfection even without the religion or even without the religion they wanted to achieve the perfection and the happiness in the life without the any assistance of the uh, religion understand they wanted to make their life and the now new interest and the tendency they started growing among the common man this kind of the new interest interest in this world interest in the potentiality of the human being understand now this knowledge per percolated among the masses understand our masses say, begin to believe uh, the common man now believe they, in such kind of knowledge and moreover thus the growth of humanism proved to be the very soul of the renaissance and now we this will be the not exaggeration if we see if you, we say ki that the humanism is the soul of renaissance okay humanism kya hai renaissance ki atma hai that will be the not the exaggeration not the hyperbolic this is the fact in our humanism now rest in the heart of the renisha understand the next step as students now this process of the intellectuality and the process of that knowledge of the humanism and humanism became the part of the subject subject and in the universities of the world understand uh, humanism became as the one of the subject in the to be the taught among the people or, or in the particularly in the university first of all then the LA, the padua university understand and from 11th century and the bologua and padua university have been the center of the legal study in the beginning what the what the taught legal subjects were the main subject of their study as well as the trade and commerce were commercial study and commercial activities now uh, 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 expanded to as a expanded to so the legal and the commercial subjects very important understand during that uh, or difficult to carry on trade on a large scale without the assistance of the particular subjects assistance of the commercial subjects we are the main subject because the most of the people are uh, belonging to the italian cities uh, we are involved in the foreign trades understand or the intercontinental trade that's why they required uh, required the accountants accountancy or the commercial subjects understand for this and the legal subjects also for the uh, to legalize their and the and the documents the moreover 
the this necessary made the law popular subject law became the very popular subject during those uh, 11th or 12th century and it was the study but uh, after the francesco petrarch the when the this cultural subject and the subject say uh, related to the humanities uh, began its a study began from the petrarch and petrarch was a representative of the this change petrarch was one of the and he was given the title of the poet laureate now he makes very important the dominant subject in the roman 1341 to people was a distinct civilization he said that the this classics or the text distinctions of the civilization could not be understood without the understanding of the actual works of the ancient greek and romans so emphasized on the terminology the greek and terminology will actually reveals revealed the actual meaning of this poetry he emphasizes the study of the term and the terminological study understand and moreover and he emphasizes the importance of the close and careful reading or reading of the works of the ancient authors and the petrarch emphasizes it petrarch emphasized that the ancient works should be the study ancient text or ancient books should be the study for a understand or a close and careful study is needed he argued that there was a must to be the learned which religion religious teaching alone could not give he said that one thing is very important he said that ki only religious knowledge is not enough understand now to know more much much more understand to so they just teaching aspects of the uh, other aspects other knowledge other branch of the knowledge not the only religious knowledge uh, now uh, could uh, bring the perfection of the knowledge you know and understand the so he emphasizes that it is knowledge should be the uh, not only the religious knowledge is necessary or it is the very confined knowledge religious knowledge is confined the 19th century historians labeled this new culture as a humanism so the this new culture of the study in the by the 19th century now the historians now term this as a humanism as a humanism a number of universities after that further they he emphasized they now further the number of universities opened or including the newly established university of the florence understand attracted to the revolutionary idea florence was the main center of the knowledge and was the a uh, hometown of the petrarch also definitely this made the mark of a center of trade of the learning till the end of 13th century this uh, however in uh, it came to be the known recognized as a very well known century and the uh, giotto attributed significant uh, making it the so popular this uh, florence universities college of this uh, the more popular dante was a layman but he wrote the religious themes understand giotto artist and the well known for his life like a portrait now giotto constructed and the he made a and uh, now uh, and uh, a pot understand a uh, uh, a very the man like portrait understand so now there was a the features of this portrait because before him understand portraits were made the very stiff manner very stiff very stiff, and no expression no flexibility no any flexibility was the now uh, in his uh, now man a uh, 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 sized portrait 
now so the one of the th uh, features that it was the elastic it was a flexible so as a flexible as a dynamic not the static it uh, looked uh, at a dynamic understand so this was a a very top uh, strong Changes in the way in the architectural form or in the sculpture. You can say the in the sculpture field, it, it was a very important change, and it was the worth mentioning portraits of the Giotto where of the earlier artists make and used to construct the portraits. Those were the very stiff, but now. He made the portrait that was the very flexible. This was the, and therefore they earned the much admiration, and he now gained uh, the much uh, admirations or the praise, appreciations uh, because of this. And Florence developed uh, as a most uh, exciting intellectual, and as a center of the artistic uh, uh, creativity in Italy. So the Florence got uh, the very importance as an artistic city. Understand? So now, as students, now we see that even in the universities, understand the, uh, the humani humanism, okay, develop. Understand in the Florence. And now the historians. What about the the historians now? Now uh, began to compose. Their tariq and their history. Now they included or infuse the humanistic ideas in their writings. Now the humanistics believe that dark is. They now said that <coughs> dark is. Now the said that believe that the dark age had occurred in after the decline of Roman Empire. After the decline. Empire dark is assert. They argue that they were the re-establishing civilization in its real form after a long period of the darkness. Understand? After the fall of the Roman Empire, there was a dark. So, so these who just now they are the right, they are the creating a new establishing or new civilization in the world. And now, similarly, later scholars too, to unquestioningly assume that the history of Europe earned a new era in the history of the Europe now earned and began in after the 14th century. The historians believe, and Europe entered into the modern age. Then, after the Europe entered into the modern age, and from the 15th century. Next, further, the modern age was different from the Middle Ages. Now we know that every age, in all respect, differs from the others. Ancient period differs from the medieval culture. Medieval cultures differs from the modern culture. Understand? So each age has its own culture, beliefs, and the own cultures and the own beliefs. So, so we as students. Uh, we see that Kimod, this was a great transformation. Understand? Transformations or the beginning of the modern age. And this modern age, it was during this age, on the, there were certain features of this modern age. Modern age was medieval age, was the, uh, uh, its feature was that as spirituality and the religion, religious beliefs was the hovering and it was the dominating. But in the modern age, it began with the rational experimentation. Modern age, main features of the modern age. Now, rationality, experimentation, and, and the scientific tempers. Scient people's now, scientific, became the hallmark of the Western society. And this reasoning, rationality, experiment, understand, or scientific temper. This was inculcated into the during the during the Renaissance period. Understand? And this was the features of the modern age. And now this uh, rationality, 
experimentations or a scientific temper now help in the bringing about now today's world uh, whatever the today worlds we are looking understand that is that was the originated from the renaissance understand this modern science is began from the renaissance understand and now we are the modern man understand the people began to be the called as the renaissance man who were the very skilled who were scientific who were the argumentative or having the experimental views having understand that these people began to be the modern and in a, its broaden uh, the geographical and the intellectual horizon brought uh, them to the stage of modernity understand the now study the next thing is the last topic uh, we have the the monks and the clergy man growth of the science philosophy contribution of the arabs arab science and the now the spread of humanism universities and the humanism humanist views of the historians and the last topic is the now the arabian science science and the science and region arabs the now students here the monks and clergy men who were intended to and uh, who were in involved in the propagation of their own religion well familiar writing in the middle ages now they and these uh, monks they frequently visited in the middle east understand or in the islamic countries they used to go for the propagation of their religion they were the well aware and well known of the of uh, art and culture and the writings of the west asia understand or the middle ages or the middle ages but they never made efforts to make these uh, widely known and they were well known but uh, may never many scholars began to read uh, and now in the modern times during the renaissance uh, period scholars say many study of uh, muslim uh, books and the muslim understand greek writers like the and many the uh, modern uh, writers began to translate uh, the greek writers like the plato aristotle from the 14th century the greek scholars translated works of the arabic and these greek scholars began to translate the arabic and the persian and the persian scholars on natural science they began to translate these uh, uh, persians or the uh, arabic knowledge uh, into their own languages and the natural science mathematics uh, or the astronomy as medicine or the chemistry for the transmission to the other europeans and they started translation of the persian text in the field of in the field of art in the field of science or the chemistry and then after translating they now why what were they there of they wanted to translate the uh, knowledge to the other europeans understand so this process or almagest of the ptolemy ptolemy one of the great writers and the geographist who write the almagest carry an arabic a definite a al which brings out the arabic a connection al the term is begins from the al which denotes the arabs and the arabic or it is the worth mentioning aljamist work astronomy written in greek before the 140 ad it into the arabic ibn sina i have already taught you in the islamic uh, land or the islamic world where while i was the teaching in that understand the this is the ibn sina physician and philosopher of the bukhara in central asia or al author of the medical encyclopedia regarded as the high order muslim seri writers in the islam italians world ibn rashid 
who were the Arab philosophers of the Spain. Now subside the tension between the philosophical knowledge and the religious beliefs. Next, Christian thinkers too adopted the, his methods, and though law, medicine, theology continued to be the dominated at the university, and slowly humanist subject began to be the introduced not just in Italy but also in the other countries of the Europe. So the humanist subject, humanist or the humanities became the very popular in the different parts of the world and as well as the at the schools level as well. Understand that now the humanism was the soul, soul of the soul of the Renaissance. Understand? Or uh, writings were done, okay, associated with the humanism and the human potentiality. And Understand? Next day, we shall start the other topic. Okay? Thank you very much.